Hello and welcome back to the Odd Shopper YouTube channel. Yes, we're doing two NASCAR VODs this week if you're paying attention. I am also covering the Xfinity Series race at Charlotte as well, the Alsco Uniforms 300. I am super excited for this race because I think the betting markets are a little bit out of whack. I think this is a great spot to find value. Uh, but before we get into the action, let's just go through the roadmap. I'm obviously going to start with my race preview. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, Tipco Sportsbook in there as well. And we're going to have three betting picks. It's going to be great. Let's get right into it. So race preview. The Alsco Uniforms 300 at Charlotte Motor Speedway. Charlotte is a one and a half mile high speed intermediate track. That means that it rewards drivers who drive cars that have a lot of raw speed. And it does not reward driver talent or tire management or other things like that nearly as much as other tracks like Darlington or North Wilkesboro, where we were at the last two weeks do. So that means you want to find guys who are in fast cars. How do we know who's in a fast car? Well, we had another high-speed intermediate earlier in the season, Las Vegas. And it is very, very important when you're trying to understand what's going to happen at Charlotte later in the year. Uh, how do we know this? Well, let me pull three of the last four seasons uh, data for you. And we're going to skip 2020 because of COVID weirdness. I don't think that's a real year. So 2019, Tyler Reddick, Richard Childress racing driver, dominated the event at Las Vegas before crashing out. What happened at Charlotte? Well, he won. So no surprise there. Uh, 2021, Joe Gibbs Racing Drivers recorded the second and third best driver ratings at Las Vegas. What happened in Charlotte? Ty Gibbs, who was not allowed to be in, entered in the race at Las Vegas because he was not old enough, went on to win at Charlotte. Cool. And 2022, Junior Motorsports recorded the first and third best driver ratings in Vegas. What happened? Oh, Josh Berry went on to win at Charlotte. So yeah, uh, pretty clear trend there. If your team does well, in Vegas, your team will probably do well in Charlotte. Very easy trend. Uh, there are two other quick notes uh, for this weekend's event. Number one, Kyle Busch is in the number 10 college racing Chevrolet. And number two, Ty Gibbs is in the number 19 Joe Gibbs Toyota. So they're obviously the betting favorites for this race by far. Uh, do they deserve to be so? Well, let's get into it. So I've obviously alluded to the significance of Las Vegas. Do you remember what happened in Las Vegas? All right, I won't mess with you. So what happened in Las Vegas? Chandler Smith, the driver of the number 16 Chevrolet Ford, college racing, led almost the entire race. He led 100 plus laps and recorded the best driver rating by far. So that's obviously huge. Uh, who else was in the field that weekend? Kyle Busch. He outran his teammate at college racing, Kyle Busch, for the entire day. Uh, Bush and Chandler Smith recorded the first and fifth best driver ratings. I think you have to flip it. Chandler was better than Bush. Uh, so, but first and fifth best driver ratings, knowing the trends that I just said about what happens in Vegas recurring in Charlotte. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty important note. No team performed better than them. Uh, the guys with the second, third and fourth best driver ratings all came from different teams. So the best overall team, college racing. You're going to want to back both college racing drivers this weekend, just in different ways. So how are we going to back Chandler Smith? Well, we're going to back him as an outright. Uh, am I in love uh, with Chandler Smith as a driver? No. I think that there he just hasn't had the experience uh, necessary to be a favorite any given weekend, especially when there are two cup guys in the field. However, the odds that DraftKings has posted are 22 to 1 which is nuts. You want to slam that line. That is great value uh, for a driver who showed as much speed at Las Vegas as Chandler Smith did. History tells us that drivers who do well in Vegas, do well in Charlotte. This shouldn't be a 22 to one line. Slam that. He's also plus 250 just to score a top five. Yeah, give me that too. We're not going to be playing Kyle Busch outright. And that's just because there is not a lot of value on that market, especially relative to the fact that he got beaten by Chandler Smith at Las Vegas. Um, so we're not going to be buying whatever the books are selling on that. However, although Bush ran worse at, than Smith at Vegas, who did he outrun? I'll give you a couple seconds. If you said every single Toyota in the field, you would be correct. Joe, uh, John Hunter Nemechek, I almost called him his dad's name. That, that would have been tough. Uh, but John Hunter Nemechek finished sixth. He recorded the fourth best drive rating, so a little bit better than Bush, but who cares? Uh, Sammy Smith finished 17th, had the 10th best drive rating. The third Joe Gibbs driver, who was driving the number 19, 
that Ty Gibbs will take over this weekend uh, was, uh, what's his name? Oh yeah, Joe Graff Jr. So we can already just ignore whatever happened to that car because um, that was not competitive. And the only other Toyotas in the field of note were the Sam Hunt Racing Toyotas, which while significantly outperforming expectations, uh, did not run nearly well enough to contend for the win. So yeah, Toyotas might be cooked at miles and a half in the Xfinity series, uh, barring a really great run from Ty Gibbs that would come kind of out of nowhere. So I'm fading the Toyota camp. And Kyle Busch, co-favorite with Ty Gibbs, their lineup on a matchup market. I would probably set that as like minus 115, minus 115 or whatever uh, your book is doing for a standard hold. I think that's a pretty dead even heat. Uh, that's not what DraftKings is doing. DraftKings has Ty Gibbs at minus 140 and Kyle Busch at plus 105. So still kind of steep hold, uh, but getting Kyle Busch at better than 50%, like that's crazy to me. Uh, given how much uncertainty and like RNG there is in NASCAR, with drivers who I have is pretty much in a dead heat, plus 105 on Kyle Busch, especially, especially after how poorly Toyota did in Las Vegas and how well Collard Racing did, that's a great value bet. All right, before we get into our last pick, which is actually going to have odds of plus 750, so if you want another long shot bet, this one's a great deal. Let me talk a little bit about Tipico Sportsbook. So have you ever wanted your name on a Craftsman Truck Series truck? Well, it won't be on the name rail, but if you deposit at least $38 at Tipico, you'll get just that plus $150 in bet credits. Uh, bet credits are not real money, so you can't just take it back out of the account. Uh, call 1-800-GAMBLER uh, if you have a gambling problem. But uh, great deal. You get to place $150 in bonus bet credits at the site if you deposit $38. You get your name on Zane Smith's truck if you're one of the first 300 people to commit to this promotion. Uh, and he also has a pretty good chance of ending up in victory lane with your name on the truck. Uh, Zane Smith is a very talented road course driver. Uh, he won at Circuit of the Americas this year. He finished, I think, second at Mid-Ohio, which is where he'll drive the Tipco number 38 Ford uh, last season, finishing second to only Parker Kligerman, I think it was. Um, so, yeah, this is an absolute great promotion. Uh, I am not in a state where I can take advantage of it, but my loss is quite literally your gain. Uh, because there is an extra blank space where my, my name would be that you can take advantage of. Uh, one last note with this promotion is that the top five depositors in total deposit size will get VIP passes to a truck event of their choice. You are not stuck just going to this one event in mid-Ohio if you do not live in Ohio or the weekend doesn't work for you. Great. Well, let me talk about our last pick, and it's going to be, of course, Typico Sportsbook. Let's pull up their top five odds. Um, so obviously I think Chandler Smith is a value at plus 250. We've already talked about him. I think there's a lot of value lower in the field, but specifically on Carson Hosevar. Why do I think there's value on Carson Hosevar? Well, Hosevar drives the number 77 Chevrolet. So first things first, Chevrolet's controlled all top five spots in Las Vegas. So that's an important thing to know. Um, he's driving the number 77 Chevrolet for Spire Motorsports. The team debuted at Darlington. So it's new. The books probably don't really understand how good they are. Uh, how well did they do in Darlington? Well, Hosevar finished a very impressive sixth. Keep in mind, this was his second career Xfinity Series start and the first career Xfinity start for Spire Motorsports. So if they are getting a P6 in their debut, uh, imagine what they can do in their second race. Uh, Hosevar actually nearly won both of his truck series starts at Charlotte as well. Uh, he, um, I think, so last year... He almost won because he got into trouble with Ryan Priest late in the event. The year before that, I think he finished second after leading a significant amount of the race. Um, so tough beat for him. Uh, but he finally got his first NASCAR Truck Series win this year. Where? Oh, Charlotte's sister track, Texas, is all, of all places. So yeah, Hosevar getting a top five at plus 750. You're not going to be able to find this price on the market for much longer as he continues to perform well. And the number 77 Chevrolet for Spire Motorsports this is a fantastic deal, especially, especially, especially given how poorly Toyota and Ford performed in Vegas. Uh, they just didn't have the speed that you want to see out of them. I, I, I'm i sorry. I just can't turn up this uh, plus 750 bet on Carson Hosevar. Cool. Let me pull this odds board out and let's go through our recap. So number one, we're going to bet on Chandler Smith outright at 22 to one at DraftKings. That line is far too long. I don't think that he wins the race 
uh, every time, but 22 to one, that's a great deal. You have to lock that in. Second, Kyle Bush versus Ty Gibbs plus 105 at DraftKings. Another absolute nuts line. Uh, this should be even. Uh, it's not. You get Bush and plus money. He needs to do this less than half the time for you to make a profit. I think he does it more than half the time, given how well college racing looked uh, in Vegas and how poorly Joe Gibbs racing looked in Vegas. Lastly, Carson Hosevar, top five, plus 750 at Tipico. That number is nuts. Take advantage of it while you still can. It'll be off the board by the time qualifying happens. And that's going to do it for this week's video. If you found this content useful, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you don't do it right now, then please do it when you come back after I make you some money. Uh, I'll hope to see you again next week. And as always, it's been a pleasure.